Hey, hey, YouTubers, today is Friday, February 11, 2022. Um, my TBR for February. Oh, my goodness. Where to start? All right, so I started Midwinter Nightingale, and I picked it because Midwinter is in the title, and Midwinter is February 2nd or 3rd. Um, I did start it on Thursday, February 3rd, right? I read the first chapter, put a bookmark in it, put the book down, and haven't gone back to it. It was a little over a week ago. So February 3rd to today, the 11th, that was eight days. Read the first chapter and put it down. Um, I wasn't impressed with the first chapter. Um, oh, I had such high hopes for this one. The writing felt a little over the top, almost where like every sentence needed to be all uppercase with lots of exclamation points. I felt like it, the the narrative, like it was yelling at me. Um, it could have just been the mood that I was in. I hadn't been feeling well, maybe. But um, so I started it, read the first chapter, and I've had no desire to go back to it in the last eight days. So I'm gonna call it a DNF. So it's Midwinter Nightingale by Joan Aiken. I'm going to call it a DNF. I'm not going to waste time on books that I cannot get into for whatever reason, whether it's the book's fault or my fault. I'm not going to do it. So I didn't do any reading on Friday the 4th, Saturday the 5th, or Sunday the 6th. I, I did absolutely no reading. Am I in a reading slump? No, I'm just, for whatever reason, I'm not in the mood to read. Um... I have no desire to pick up a book. That's not necessarily a reading slump. Not for me, anyway. It just means that maybe I'm busy elsewhere in life and I have no time and I just don't ever think about it. So let's try not to overanalyze it and overthink it, right? So then I started um, Love Walked In by Marissa De Los Santos. Um, I started this one on Monday, Monday the 7th, which was just a couple days ago. Uh, I took it with me on the college run when the oldest is in classes and I have a little bit of time before the kid comes out from class. Um, I had it in the car with me. I read the first 17 pages. So that's the first chapter and two or three pages into the second chapter. Okay. Um, so the kid came out of class, put a bookmark in it brought the book home, sat it in my read a little reading basket next to my chair, and I haven't touched it in four days. So, um, in the 17 pages that I did read, I was bored out of my mind. So, yeah, this one definitely for sure is a DNF. I have no interest in going back to it. Um, so that leaves me with my February TBR. Um, do I go with the rest and try to read the rest of the books on my tbr i don't know i'm i'm thinking that um even for my own viewing when i watch other youtubers or booktubers i enjoy watching their tbr videos um how they create a tbr and then stick with it for the month and then at the end of the month when they do the wrap up they actually read most of the books on their tbr i don't know how they do it i am seriously a mood reader and when life gets busy, I actually have no time to read. Um, if I'm having a depressive episode, I definitely do not read. I have no interest in doing anything. Um, sometimes when it's dark and gray out every day for days on end in the winter, I just want to curl up on the couch and snuggle under the blankets. I'm not necessarily depressed, but, you know, I have no desire to read. Um... I haven't been feeling well off and on the last week or two. It's um, it's nothing serious. It's just I, I think I've been feeling run down. So then I have no desire to read then either. So I think it all just kind of... Do you know what I mean? So I still have four more books on my February TBR. The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. Stay by Allie Larkin. My grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry by Frederick Bachman and Emma by Jane Austen. And out of these four, the only one I actually really feel like picking up to read is Emma from Jane Austen. So I think for the rest of it, I'm just going to scrap the TBRs um, since I am a mood reader. 
I think going forward, what I'm going to do with my videos is um, when I feel like reading a book, I'm going to pick up the camera and show you guys the process of picking a book off my shelf for whatever I'm in the mood for. And then I'll give you an update while I'm reading it. And then I'll give you an update when I'm done. And that'll be it. I don't think I'm going to film TBR videos anymore, but I'll still do maybe monthly wrap ups at the end of the month. I think because that makes sense because that just shows you what I did read for the month but trying to plan it out I'm you know back on February 1st I had no idea what I was in the mood to read so I tried to do a Valentine's theme it's not working for me so I, I'm I am literally a mood reader the the definition of of mood reading that's what I am so there you go I hope you guys aren't too disappointed <laughs> Um, so that's a very long way to say, hey, you know what? I didn't actually do any reading in the last week. Yeah, I read a chapter, and yeah, I read 17 pages, but I really didn't read anything. So I'm not going to be mad at myself for it. I'm not going to be disappointed in myself for it. That's just the way it is. So, um, let's see. Life update, uh, I got the results back from my biopsy of my thyroid. Everything is good. There's nothing to worry about. Um, my husband and I are going out today to look for kitchen cabinets. So that's my big thing today. That's it. I'm filming this video at like 9.45 in the morning because we need to go out shopping for kitchen cabinets. Uh, <laughs> some reason you just never have enough storage in your kitchen no matter how many cabinets you got out there right so that's it for today I I did try to read this past week and it just um, didn't work out for me um hopefully in the next couple days I can pick up Emma from Jane Austen and start that and I'll come back and I'll see you guys next Friday unless I have any more life updates to come at you with you know um yeah, I'm going to call it quits there for today. Uh, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Tell me how you guys are doing because winter is rough sometimes. Life is rough sometimes. Um, yeah, I know. Um, don't forget to subscribe. But yeah, you know what? How about why don't you guys tell me what you do when you're not in the mood to read? What do you do? Do you try to read anyway, or do you just wait until you are in the mood? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye!